Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, for my colleagues, I would have uh, submitted these, except there's uh, just one issue that I have not seen addressed today. There's been a lot of rhetoric today about privatizing or monetize, uh, modernizing. This body has addressed the concerns about state employees and small businesses. What it has not been addressed are the core issue regarding our positions on this issue. On this issue. The core issue is this. The government of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania has been given no constitutional authority to be in the business of buying and selling commodities. On January 6th, every member of this body raised their hand and gave their word to their constituents and to the citizens of this Commonwealth to defend the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. As a member of the military, I've taken a number of similar oaths. My word, my oath, means something to me. It means something to the people who hired me. In researching this issue, the starting point for me was this. Does the Constitution of Pennsylvania grant authority to the executive branch to be in the business of buying and selling things? To me, the clear answer is no. Can we regulate it? Oh yes, we can. But we have no business being in business, no matter what the commodity. The people have not given us that authority. We've been operating for decades outside the will of the people, outside the authority of the Constitution, and thus outside of the law. In other words, the executive branch of the Commonwealth has been involved for decades in what is an essentially an illegal act. The public already has an unfavorable uh, impression of the legislatures in general. Violating our oaths of office right from the beginning, I contend, has a lot to do with that unfavorable opinion. In tackling the problem of divesting the Commonwealth's administration of this unlawful taking of the entire market share of, an un of a lawful commodity, the members who choose to be a part of the process have taken care to pro provide up to $4,000 a year in benefits towards the state employees who would be affected, and have given as much help as would be reasonable to the small businesses that would be impacted by the changes by letting the market return to the private sector. But let us not forget, those are not the core issue. The core issue is that the executive branch of the Commonwealth is operating outside of the, com uh, the Constitution. My primary efforts in this body is to encourage the whole of the body to become a body of statesmen who will elevate the body again to one that will work with the people, for the people, and one that the people can look upon with awe and respect that the architecture, inscriptions of the building that we inhabit reflect. As I stated earlier, my word, my oath means something. We can all stumble. I've stumbled. The government of the Commonwealth has stumbled. The question before us is, do we pick ourselves up and make this right, or do we make the promise to those we hired to us irrelevant? For those of you who are considering pushing that red button on this question, I suggest you do this. Look at it before you do. Consider what you've given your word to the people, consider that you have given your word to the people who hired you, and realize that you are really answering another question at the same time. That question is, does my word really mean anything? It is a fair question that the 70 to 80 percent of the people of this Commonwealth are eager, eagerly awaiting the answer to. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.